Right, the defender, the mighty stick, he's two years old. I don't know when his birthday is. And we haven't serviced him, which is not according with regulations. It's supposed to do every 12 months, regardless of mileage. And I guess it makes sense. And obviously, if you've got a new car, a new engine, it is worth doing an oil change reasonably soon. We've clocked up, I think, 10,000 miles, which is probably a few more than we should in terms of doing a service. But we're going to start with, we've got all the oil and the pollen filter and that, and we're going to start with the air filter. So there's the part number. So our car here is the petrol P300, the two litre 300 brake horsepower petrol defender. So we're going to breathe easy, my G, with this new air filter. Some used slang. So fairly straightforward. So the air comes into the defender through the snorkel. It goes down here, goes through the inner wing, comes up through and into the air box. And there's a sheet of air filter in this here and it is going to filter the car filter the car filter the air coming in and then it goes through here into the engine so we are going to just whoop this off quickly so kate has beautifully colored in the screws so there are six screws around the periphery now i think these are the screws that come i don't think you take them out i think when they start spinning i think when they start spinning loose you've got them out enough and that way you don't lose them. You don't have to take them. They sort of remain in this top half of the plastic. All right, have a look at that. Mm -mm. There you go. You can feel them go loose a bit. And that's when they're out then. Ooh, need to have done this with my electric screwdriver. Right, I'll loosen the six of them. So there's one, two, three. There you go. You got those, Kate? Yeah. You can get around the front there. So, right, we will get those all undone. And then we'll come back and join you. Right. right, so here we go. So I'm not sure how much movement we've got and whether we've got enough oh, there. It's coming, up. it's coming up right. So that's all looking good. I think just to be safe, we'll undo. I don't like these connectors, but if you give us a little twist here, that, that'll just pop out that much. Then press down on that little white tab and you should be able to extract your connector. And when you put it back in, you've got to like push that back in till it clicks like that. Right, so that's giving us a bit more room. Let's undo this hose clip here. Seven millimeter socket. Let's get that. We don't need to undo it all the way. And let's see if that'll allow us to, have we got enough? Let me just, let me just lift this up a bit. So we've got some concertina in here that we might be able to separate, there you go. Can separate that and then we should be able to wriggle him out thank you kate wriggle him out now it looks like there was it looks like maybe this these three connectors here when tyler put this back together um i think they are supposed to be located in there so they are th cable clips so you might better you might either have to push those out they look like they're on sort of barbed fittings um, so we've obviously pulled those out. We took this out to do the headlight. When we were playing with the headlights, we had to take that out. Right, so there is my air filter, my two-year-old air filter. So it should be dirty on the bottom. That's where we're expecting to see the dirt. And can you see it's all got in all the crevices there. So he's not looking too bad, though. You can see a bit of the quite, old... Quite clean, actually. Quite clean. Oh, I don't know. There's some, yeah. there's some bits in there you wouldn't have wanted in your engine. Look. Yeah, let's do a little... Yeah, he's got some he got some dirt and grime in him. Dirty. So so he is gonna breathe easy. Now it's worth having a check in here. It looks like we've nearly had some water in there at some point, doesn't it? We it's might quite have muddy. it's quite muddy. Um if you've got lots of bits of debris in there, you could give it a little vacuum out, a little hoover out, but we're looking okay. So there you go, it goes with the flutes down. Thank you, Kate. That's it. Now, someone in Australia was saying that they really struggle with dirt and dust and stuff. And they're saying, you could is there any way you could make it a bit easier to change it? Because they, they, they often get it so clogged up, they'll just dust it out and pat it and put it back in again. It's not too bad. I guess you could replace these with some knurled screws, but I don't think that's too bad. Right, we'll put that. Right, we've got to make sure we get this seated back on. That all sits back on nice and neatly. 
you get one of those if I get one of those in that will hold it in place right, and how's that one looking okay bit tough with bit one tough. hand <laughs> trying to do my job for me right there we go so that there you go that's now did, was that at a particular place? Have they put any? It was any a little bit higher. It was, yeah, it sat about there. Yeah, I as long as we got it tight, I don't think it's too serious. Land Rover are going to know we've been in here because we've got orange paint over everything. <laughs> so I will try and look up what the recommended air filter change is. But of course, to some degree, it depends on the environment. Like I said, the guys in Australia, they'll tell you they'll get it clogged up in no time. So more often is obviously better than less frequently but I think we were fine there we've had it a couple of years 10,000 miles he's looking good right we'll tighten that up but there you go that is the air filter video done any questions let us know